I've shared a lot of videos on different business ideas, businesses that you can start and so on. And I think the number one question that I'm asked by people is, okay, I hear you. I see the business ideas, but where do I get the products? Like, how am I supposed to actually find the products to sell all these things that you're telling me about? And that's what we're going to be answering in this video. I'm going to be sharing with you how to buy from Alibaba.com. Alibaba.com has to be the one place that I am so glad I discovered because during the time when I was planning on starting my own jewelry business, um, Pro tip, I did not end up uh, starting a jewelry business, but I did learn a lot during that time because I was going through Alibaba.com um, a little too much actually. And it helped me with then figuring out how to actually use the app. And I did order something from there, um, a bit of inventory, which I still have not used. But we're not gonna go there okay so um i want to talk to you about how you can actually order from alibaba.com and try by all means to not get scammed because yes guys the possibility of getting scammed is still there and i'm just trying to help you to make sure that you don't end up having certain issues that you could have avoided if you knew certain things and that's what we're going to be discussing in this video there are a lot of tips that i'm going to be sharing with you and i need you to pay attention i need you to stick around till the end of the video because every single thing that i'm going to be sharing with you is very important in actually getting suppliers who are actually going to be working with you and that actually can provide you with the inventory you need to start that business and that you can build long-term relationships with that's the most important thing you don't want suppliers or rather just be changing around suppliers that's not the best way to do business so we'll be discussing things that you need to know when it comes to actually buying from alibaba.com and i will be going through it step by step number one what i want you to do is actually download alibaba.com onto your phone the reason why i'm saying that you need to download it onto your phone is because it's much easier to use it on your phone and you have more access to certain things on your phone rather like with it as an app on your phone rather than just as uh, uh on website the second thing that i want you to do is to change the currency there's a reason why i'm saying that it's important that you change the currency you have the option to choose the currency that you want to use when you are seeing how much things are now i don't know if i'm the only one that gets anxious when i see usd you see <laughs> according to my knowledge eh, dollars are expensive hmm? things when they're in dollars it's a little too expensive for me to be you know going there so even if it might have been the same price in rands as soon as i see usd i'm like mm, this is expensive so it's best that you change the currency <laughs> to whatever it is, whatever your currency is, because I do know that it's not only people who are in South Africa that are going to be watching this video. So wherever you are from, change the currency to your currency, one that you are going to be comfortable with. Because I swear, if you see USD and you're not used to it. Number three, what I want you to do is to be specific as to what you are searching for. During that time, when I started off with like looking, because I was looking for jewelry, um, I realized that I wanted to sell stainless steel jewelry. Um, that was the business that I wanted to start um because i have very sensitive ears and and skin basically like i have very sensitive skin so each time that i would wear earrings and the you know the material is not the best um my ears would react and i'd end up being forced to like stop wearing the earrings and so now i still have not really found like jewelry that i can wear and i don't react to it which is why you know that was the main reason of me starting a jewelry business unfortunately yeah, i don't care enough about it so i stopped but all i'm saying is the way i was searching for the jewelry that i wanted to sell was wrong i was searching jewelry while search necklaces and that's not the best way to go about it the way that you actually search is stainless steel jewelry or you sell uh or you say stainless steel jewelry for women if you're more specific there's a high chance of you finding exactly what you're looking for but the problem is a lot of the times we just kind of like throw it out there and hope for the best it doesn't work that way you need to be specific so that you can actually find whatever it is that you are looking for number four once you have actually clicked on this item that you are interested in actually buying first thing that you need to look out for which is most probably going to be at the very top is the minimum order quantity the moq look when I started off, I knew absolutely nothing about that. I didn't know what the hell that was. But the minimum order quantity, how much of that product they're willing to sell to you at that specific price. 
you will not be able to get one item there are some of them that will not allow you to just order one item from them they expect you to buy in bulk maybe it's going to be 10 of um a specific item if you want to actually buy that product or it's going to be 100 there's some people that go as far as saying they want you to get 10,000 of that item it's going to be the exact same item please note that it's going to be the same type i don't know like you are buying the same thing but 10,000 of the same thing so unless which i know for sure a lot of us when are starting off we don't have the budget for that please you you, you are not getting 10,000 of the same thing when you haven't even figured out what you're doing okay you are going to look for um a supplier that actually sells one of that thing that way you can make sure that you know you you keep adding more and more um of that inventory you don't just start out with like 10,000 and then you can't even sell it a lot of times you guys don't even have any skills when it comes to marketing i know you I know you very well the whole thing about marketing if you want to learn how to do that i have videos on my um on my channel please make sure that you actually check it out it'll be very helpful for you but now let's let's go back to the point okay so make sure that the minimum order quantity is one you're going to start out with one i don't want you starting out with many i don't want you to have five ten whatever you're trying to stick to your budget in other words you need to make sure that you are not buying too many of the same thing or you are not buying too much inventory that you're not even sure if you can actually sell out okay now make sure like that is the most important thing okay not really but like it's very important please make sure that you're buying one the supplier has allows you to just to buy just one so the minimum order quantity has to be one number five i need you to check the details <laughs> I saw this when I was now, you know, you, you're interested in the product, the price is good, things are looking nice. And then, cause like, I was searching for stainless steel jewelry. I was, I was searching for jewelry that doesn't tarnish. So basically, waterproof jewelry, all of that stuff, right? And the thing is, when you're searching for it, you'd go into a supplier who has waterproof jewelry or tarnish resistant. Is it tarnish? Resistant? I forgot what it's called. Okay. It's been like two years since I searched all this jewelry stuff, but you'd, Get a supplier who'd write exactly what you're looking for. But when you look at the products themselves, you see, Uta Aman, this is not what I wanted. What I need you to do, something very important, because you don't want to make this mistake where you buy the wrong thing. Go on to details. Yes, you can click on details and then it will give you all the information that you need about this product. It's going to tell you whether this jewelry is stainless steel or not. A lot of the times, the, the, the jewelry that I'm talking about, which did not look right or it was a little too cheap, it would end up being alloy. Alloy is exactly what I was trying to run away from. I did not want to sell jewelry that was going to rust. So all I'm saying is for safety purposes, please make sure that you actually check out the details before you order anything from um, those suppliers because some people will, <laughs> they will lie to you your face and because when you have not checked uh the details it's going to be your fault because you didn't check the details and now you've wasted a lot of money and a lot of times we have you know a specific budget for starting this business you don't have above that so we're trying to avoid you just kind of messing everything up because you just didn't look through the details number six let's get samples before we decide to order in bulk okay the reason i'm saying this is because it might look good on paper hmm? that supplier looks really good you know things look like everything is fine but then when you, the product actually comes to you now it's a whole different story now uh the thing is the quality is not good things are not looking proper if it's journal sometimes you end up finding them bent and so on and with dog ears and whatnot things like that happen and to avoid that or rather to try by all means to avoid that okay you're going to first get samples you can just order one of that thing and get it delivered to you once you get it you check out the quality and you see if it's something that you actually want please note something else that's very important a lot of the people that offer samples tell you that if you decide that you actually want the products that are from them they will minus the amount that you spent on samples when you are now buying their products so you do not have to worry about the money that you would have spent on samples and it's actually really good for you to get samples because you also get to like take pictures of the thing and uh basically show your potential clients because uh um, I'm guessing that by the time that you're starting this business, you would have already started marketing your business on social media. Let's 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 make sure we're doing that, okay? Because I know a lot of people that don't do that. Um, you want to learn how to do that? I have a video on that. At this point, I have a video on everything, okay? But all I'm saying is you can check that out. All these videos that I'm mentioning are going to be in the description below. Make sure you check them out. Um, anyway, so 
it's a way for you to show your customer what type of products you're going to have on. So if you have a sample, you can then show your audience that, hey, this is uh, what I'm going to be selling to you guys. You now have proof of the product that you're going to be selling to people. So please order samples. I know that a lot of you are in a tight budget, but you don't want to throw money onto, like, you know, you don't want to give suppliers money only for them to have very low quality products. You would have wasted a lot more money than you would have if you had just gotten samples. Number seven is trade assurance. This is very, very important. The definition of trade assurance is going to be on your screen. I'm not defining it. Basically, what trade assurance actually does for you is it gives you the ability to get a refund if if whatever it is that you order does not get to you there are possibilities and it happens to quite a lot of people because i've heard people complaining about how their products never arrived or they got scammed things like that you need to look for suppliers that have trade assurance so that if whatever it is that you bought from them it gets delayed or like delayed to a point where like it still has not come to you after like three months you can get your refund that way you can always be sure that no matter what happens and no, no matter the amount of money that you would have actually paid to get these products if they do not arrive you do get a refund the issue on how much of the refund actually is that you need to make sure that you confirm with the supplier because yes you can actually text them and ask certain questions um i will be talking to you about that later on on like a few steps ahead from now um but that's something that you can actually do so i can find out that if this does not like if this product does not get to you can you get a refund if you are getting a refund how much would you actually be getting and are there certain you know instances where you can't get a refund you need to make sure that you've thought of all these things you don't want to get scammed and it's very much possible to get scammed on alibaba.com because you were not uh, careful enough okay so let's make sure that we do our due diligence oh my word that word but please make sure that you actually take that into consideration because it will help with making sure that you do not lose money while you're trying to start your business number eight is <laughs> please watch out for the shipping ah shipping fee is expensive eh? if you think these products are cheap let's let's first check out the shipping okay because the product might be 30 rand and then you go to shipping and the shipping is around 700 rand. Friend, you're paying for shipping. Hmm? One product is 30 rand. You're going to want 10 products. With that much shipping? Please no. <laughs> Please understand that shipping is expensive. I can't help you with that. I can't do anything for you there. Shipping is going to be expensive. I've had so many people who text me and DM me about, you know, what can I do with the shipping? I can't do anything. Look for other suppliers. If the product is good, it's good. Nah, eh, choose whether or not you're willing to pay that much for uh, for shipping. Because that's just how it is. Unless you have an agent or something in China, which a lot of us do not have, you're going to have to pay for that shipping. Okay? And something else, I want to put a disclaimer. Guys, I am not an agent. I am not. I am a business owner that bought from Alibaba.com had to learn all these things to avoid getting scammed on alibaba.com and that's the reason why i know all of this i cannot help you when it comes to buying from alibaba.com these tips that i'm giving you are going to be in an ebook about how to start your own business but that's as far as i can do when it comes to helping you i am not an agent i do not have a suppliers list maybe some people uh, decide to have you know that affiliate program thingy majigi but if not for that like i i don't have any affiliate or any you know knowledge when it comes to suppliers i can't help you you can dm me all you like but the honest truth is i cannot help you with that and there's a reason why i'm saying this is because people do dm me asking me about this i'm not an alibaba i don't know agent or whatever i'm not i don't know suppliers i i don't have any you know contacts in china i wish i did but i don't have it so that's the reason why i can't offer you any help there are certain people that do that and those who can you know if i know them i'll direct you to them um but other than that like i really can't help you with that now let's move on number nine i need you to confirm that refunds and returns are allowed there's a reason why i'm saying this is because you might need to return that item because it's not good enough like it, it's really not it comes to you it's broken or something is missing and so on and you need to return it you need to make sure please guys you're not rushing you're not going anywhere the, the products are not going anywhere they're, they're not they're really not even if they tell you there's like one of this okay even Alibaba does, doesn't do that okay well, it does it does it does like there's one of this thing left like please understand something 
if you rush, you're going to make mistakes. Take your time, confirm everything, make sure that it allows you to, uh, to actually like uh, get a refund or to return the item if it's not in the good quality or if thingy, what's it called? It's broken, it's missing something because you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer if you cannot do all these things because you're going to have products that you can't even use. You, you can't use any of them. And that's going to be very bad for business because now you have to start all over again with getting capital to, to find new suppliers all over again. So let's not rush. Let's take our time to figure all these things out. Number 10 is lead time. Please make sure that you check how long it takes them to actually create this product that you want. They will tell you depending on like whether it's 10 or 100 of those products, how long it actually takes you. It shouldn't take them too long to actually create this product. The reason why I say that is because if you want to work with them long term, there's going to get to a point in Jesus name where you're going to be now ordering like 10,000 worth of inventory from that supplier. Obviously that supplier has to be good enough for you to have gotten to that point, but we're trying to build a long-term relationship. What will happen 10 years from now when you are now getting orders, 10,000 worth of orders um, in a week or something. And now you need to restock, but if they take too long to create the product, it's going to take just as long for you to restock and then like open up the shop for everyone else to start um, buying from you and we're trying to avoid that you don't want to keep your customers you know to, to, to seem like you're ghosting your customers where they want to buy but then you never have product and there are so many business owners that i've seen who do that where they just somehow seem to never have any product every single time it's sold out sold out sold out no let's avoid doing that and the best way to do that is by checking your lead uh the supplier's lead time because that's going to tell you whether or not they can keep up with a lot of of orders you ordering a lot from them number 11 we need to be smart about what we do you need to check your reviews okay check that suppliers reviews check the product reviews you need to make sure that other people have bought whatever it is that you're buying you need to check what they have to say about this product because people being able to give you like insight on okay i bought this this is what the problem was it's going to tell you whether or not you should actually work with the supplier you don't want problems guys you don't understand you're going to waste a lot of money if you're not willing to do your due diligence okay you need to make sure that you actually take the time to go through reviews if there are no reviews i'm not saying don't work with them but all i'm saying is you know <laughs> just watch out okay watch out um but all i'm saying is please make sure that you actually go through the reviews if there are reviews if there aren't any reviews please just know whether or not you're willing to risk it if you're okay with risking it sure but if you're not i don't do it top is estimated delivery rate your estimated delivery rate is very important because you need to make sure that it's less than a month. It takes them less than a month to deliver whatever it is that they are, that you've ordered from them. Because if it takes them more than a month, you're going to get to a point, exactly what I was mentioning in the last point, where now you need to restock and you don't have any stock at all. Your shop has to shut down for some time. Not really shut down, but like, you know, close for some time so that you can restock and you're trying to avoid that. It needs to be as seamless as possible where you don't need to, you know, close down in order to actually restock and if your supplies are taking far too long to actually get you the supplies that you need then it's not going to work out honestly speaking you need to make sure that your supplier is verified the reason why it's important that your supplier is verified is because it shows that alibaba actually trusts them this is me trying to put it as simple as possible if your supplier is verified there's a higher chance that they've worked with more people and they have long-term relationships with different businesses small businesses that they are working with and this then proves that they can work with you just as as well whether they've been on alibaba for a long time their warehouses and factories and whatnot have been checked to make sure that the the, the working conditions are good and the people that are working there are being paid it's those type of things that you actually need to you know take into consideration you don't want suppliers that are you know uh, I don't know another word that I could give as a substitute, but basically suppliers that are toxic, okay? Suppliers that are not paying people, that are using child labor, all of that stuff, it's going to cause problems for you as well because when people find out that they're going to boycott your business because you are technically, you know, you are supporting it. So 
make sure you check that out people are very sensitive about that and you should be sensitive as well because you work with people and if people don't like something you don't like it too okay that's how it works 14 is on time delivery rate what does on time delivery rate mean it means how many times can they deliver on the date that they say they will deliver on you need to make sure that that is not less than 90 percent you cannot have a supplier that says that they're going to deliver in march and then they deliver in june mm -mm. you can't you can't do that because you can't trust them if that's how they work you cannot trust them make sure that it's never less than 90 percent because yes there is a percentage you look at that you make you make sure that it's above 90% because that's going to help you when it comes to making sure that your supplier can actually deliver things at the time that you guys agreed upon. 15 is response time. Now, response time is talking about when you send an inquiry. Yes, we're going to talk about inquiries and whatnot. Just a few uh, tips from now. But basically, the response time is how long they take to actually respond back to you. It's important that they do not take longer than five hours to get back to you. You can't be texting your supplier that you know something went wrong or your your supplies did not arrive or something and they take 24 hours to respond they're taking far too long and now you're at this point you're going to be freaking out okay you're going to be very anxious as to whether you got scammed or not please make sure that their response time is actually really good all of these things are put on that little supplier thingy i'm pretty sure you're seeing it on the screen um because i'm going to put it but make sure that you actually check this out it cannot be more than five hours that that's the best way that you can go about it i had some uh suppliers that i would um text and it would take them less than five minutes to get back to me hey i want to find out about this and almost immediately they text me back hey um sometimes there's even a catalog and whatnot like there's some questions that can be answered almost immediately because they have you know something that helps you um that helps answer your questions but then if it's specific questions that are specific for whatever it is that you want then they will not take very they shouldn't take too long to actually respond to you 17 you need to send inquiries you want to talk to the suppliers before you buy anything from them you need to confirm certain things before you buy from them you don't want to now be shocked there eh? after you've already bought this thing they're now telling you afterwards oh no um there's something else that you 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 should have known but you didn't know before and you've already bought you've paid you've made your payment and everything you don't want problems please i keep telling you this you don't want problems you want to start your business without having the stress of suppliers let's let's avoid all of that okay so please make sure that you send an inquiry you can uh, literally ask any question they will respond to you like i say they're supposed to respond to you in less than five hours you need to like you know check that while you're sending inquiries to see whether or not they're responding to you in a good time frame if i could say so that you don't end up having problems with them at a later stage <laughs> last tip that i have for you is to take note of additional fees now when you are looking at the price of your products that you want to actually order, you will have the price of the product. Then you will have shipping that you're going to see. Those are the things that you will see when you're adding to cart. When you now go and you want to make the payment, please note that there's an additional fee that they're going to be adding. They will be adding a transaction fee. Next thing also that you need to take into consideration is customs some of them require you when you know the product is now here in south africa you have to pay customs but i think it kind of depends on how much whatever it is that you bought was actually you know how much you're going to need to pay but talk to your supplier and find out like the percentage that you might need to have on hand for when it gets to you know your country and you now need to get it out you need to pay for customs but i didn't pay for customs let me just put that out there um i don't know I'm God's favorite. Okay. I didn't pay for customs. Like I, I, I honestly did. So uh, just make sure a lot of the times if you're buying more things or you're buying very expensive things, there's a higher chance that you're going to have to pay for customs. So just have a lot of money. Like I feel like just have like a good 10 to 50% of however much you paid to your supplier on hand for in case it's stuck in customs and you can't get it out unless you actually pay a certain amount but just make sure of that if you enjoyed this video this is where we're going to be ending off if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments please note like i said i am not an agent i am not an alibaba i don't know affiliate whatever like I, I i don't work with alibaba okay so i cannot you know get you the suppliers and whatnot you need to do your research i am not google i try by all means to help you 
with certain things that might take you very long with google but i am not google some things you need to you know research on your own it took me long to figure out all these things that i'm sharing with you and the reason i do it is because i want you to have an easier time when it comes to starting your business but that does not mean that you need to be very very lazy because you know you're starting your business you need to be hands-on as much as possible now if you have any questions ask me in the comments i will respond to you if you feel like you have a specific question that is very private in some way you can actually dm me on instagram or on tiktok at the same username learn with lerato that's where you can actually find me now please note you made it this far come on Make sure that you subscribe, that you like the video, and that you stick around. My whole page is dedicated to actually teaching you how to start your own business, how to market your business, and become the person that can run that business, the dream business that you are still building up right now from scratch. Because after all, you need to work on yourself if you want to have this business of your dreams. The same way I'm currently working on myself. So I share with you what I'm doing, what I'm trying to work on, and so on, and how I'm improving myself to actually become the person that can own these businesses that i am starting that i am you know also teaching you about and so on so make sure that you stick around i'd love to have you join in uh make sure you subscribe like i said before um but i look forward to you actually sticking around like i said i have like two videos that i already suggested for you please make sure that you actually go and you check them out. The one that I suggest, strongly suggest that you actually go and look at is on how to market your business on social media. That one is the best thing that you actually can look at because or rather that you can actually watch because as much as you are finding all of this um, inventory and whatnot, you need to know how to work at your business for it to be successful. You can't be, you know, spending all this money, but then you're not actually going to be making any money because you don't know how to actually get in front of the right customers. That's not going to work. Okay, so please make sure that you check out that video right after this one. I will see you there.